Hello. Hi. Is your microphone, Guadalupe? Your microphone is mute. Hola, teacher. Buenas noches. Hello, Guadalupe. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. And you? Very good. Thank you. And uh, how was your day? Good. Did you finish the platform? I don't know, teacher. Todavía no. No. What happened? <laughs> Hoy voy a, hoy voy a, a, a terminar, teacher. Ay, Guadalupe. <ríe> y bien que me entienden en inglés y me contesten en español. <ríe> <ríe> okay, that's good. Uh, do you have any topic or any question, Guadalupe, about the topics? ¿Algún tema que no haya comprendido muy bien, que quiera que repasemos? Uh -huh. <ríe> Sería eh, está en una en la plataforma, teacher, donde estamos usando el han, hat, el han. Ah, uh -huh. Es el presente perfecto. Ajá. En la plataforma. Uh -huh. Vaya, es que el presente perfecto. Eh, yo les mandé una hojita donde les explicaba que eso sirve para, bueno, vamos a verlo en la pizarra. Ok, hello Rene. Hello teacher, how are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Uh, very good. Very good, that's yes, nice. Yes. Ok, vaya Guadalupe. En, en inglés tenemos los pronombres personales. I, you. Uh -huh. Son pronombres personales, ¿verdad? I, you. I, you, we, they. Con estos pronombres personales. Usamos el auxiliar. Ah. Mm. Sí, es afirmativo, ¿verdad? Y con los pronombres o con las personas, he, she, it, vamos a usar el auxiliar has. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. Bye. Eso sí es afirmativa, ¿verdad? El presente perfecto siempre va a llevar este como auxiliar. Este se conoce como un verbo auxiliar. En el presente perfecto va a ir el sujeto. Esto es para oración. As, luego vamos a poner have or has, dependiendo. Sí. Vamos a usar have si me estoy refiriendo a I, you, we, they. Vamos a usar has si me refiero a la tercera persona singular, o sea, he, she, it. Ok. Más el verbo principal en pasado participio. Y luego puedo tener un complemento. Por ejemplo, vamos a hacer una oración. I have. Ahí, 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 ahí. Ah, aquí la, la oración. Vamos a borrarla. Y 
dijimos sujeto. Sujeto más él. Eso ya lo copió. Sí. Ok, entonces parte. vamos a hacer una oración. Ay. Uh -huh. Digamos de que yo ya I have go um Christmas uh, um, digamos que yo quiero decir yo he comprado algunos regalos de Navidad. Uh -huh. I have bought some Christmas present. Yo he comprado algunos regalos de Navidad. Uh -huh. Si fuera tercera persona, o sea, si yo le pongo my sister, me estoy refiriendo a tercera persona. El hat. Ajá, my sister has. Y un verbo, si yo quiero decir, mi hermana ha limpiado toda la casa. My sister has clean all the house. Mm -hmm. All the house. My sister has clean all the house. Mi hermana ha limpiado toda la casa. Ahora, mm -hmm. si usted quiere hacer oración negativa, solo le va a agregar not después del have. Have mm -hmm. not. O en forma contractada, haven't. Uh -huh. Se puede escribir de las dos formas, Tich. Sí, sí, have not or haven't, has not or hasn't. Uh -huh. Como a usted le salga más o como la plataforma lo agarre. ¿ve? Sí. Puede ser que lo agarre completo, ¿no? Uh -huh. Ok. Así es como se usa, Guadalupe. Ok, chiche. Esas es oraciones afirmativas y negativas. Si es pregunta, va a ir el have primero y luego el sujeto. De ahí todo es el mismo orden. Uh -huh. Ok, chiche, gracias. Ok, vamos a practicar un poquito más lo de ayer porque sí, vi que había como necesidad. Okay, we have this document. It says, um, ayer estuvimos viendo un poco la diferencia de cuando voy a usar pasado simple y cuando voy a usar present perfect. Sí, aquí tenemos este documento. Ya les mandé las presentaciones a su WhatsApp, las de la clase de ayer. Sí. Ajá, estas sí. se las voy a mandar igual. All right. Um, it says past simple and present perfect. Joan, can you, can you read the, the part of a simple past? Hello, Joan, no se le escucha. Creo que está teniendo problemas con el dispositivo. Uh -huh. oh, ah, teacher, Ahora sí, ahora sí. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. okay. When do we use the past simple? Past simple. Uh -huh. uh, in the left. Yes, past simple. Past simple. Form, we add ed to all regular verbs. Mm -hmm. The regular verb must be learned by heart. Yes. We use the past simple for something in the past which is finished. Example, he played tennis yesterday. The children sent to the park, sorry, sorry. The children went to the park this morning. We use did to make question and didn't for negative. The verb stay in the base form. Example, okay. did you see Bob yesterday? 
they didn't come to the party on Sunday. Mm -hmm. okay, finish action, finish action. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Past simple. Uh, simple. Now present okay. perfect. Uh, Gloria, can you read present perfect? Okay, teacher. Present perfect for has have plus past participle. We use the present perfect for an action in the past with a result now or when we talk about a time from the past and now. I lost my glass. I can't find the now. I've been to Spain, but I haven't been to Portugal. Portugal. We use hasn't, having plus past participle for negative. Example, John hasn't seen the film. We use has, have plus subject plus past participle for question. Have you seen Jan, Jen today? Mm -hmm. That's for questions. Okay. Now this is a review about yesterday's class. And that is a short explanation. So you have 20 sentences here. I don't know if you have your notebook next to you. Uh, you can complete them. Uh, if you want, you just can complete the part in blank. Write the number, for example, number one and the answer. Don't write the complete sentence. I will send it later. I, the twins in town last week. So it will be simple past or present perfect. Okay. You write the answer. Okay. I, so I, I saw the twins in right. town last week. Ajá, vamos a escribir la respuesta y vamos a chequear en unos cinco minutos, creo yo que pueden hacer. Ok. We haven't gone.
finished? No, teacher. No yet, teacher. Okay. Finish, teacher. Okay. Have the rest finished? Almost. Almost.
Ready to check your answers? Okay. Okay, we're going to check in the next page that are the answers. Can you read number one, Gloria? Okay. I I saw the twins in town last week. In town. In town last week. Okay, you are number two. Can you read number two, Joan? Um, have you ever? Have you ever met her brother? Okay, number three, Guadalupe. Okay, Guadalupe. Number three. Where? Where? Where were you last weekend? Okay, thank you. Continue, mm -hmm. Renee. What number? Three? Yes, please. Uh, number four. Yes, please. Okay, have you seen Catherine? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Five, John. Oh. We didn't. We didn't go on holiday last year. Okay, Gloria. Okay. I love love. I walk alone alone this year. Renee. What did you do last weekend? Okay, Guadalupe. Eight. Does has re repaired the car you can use it it's not you can use it now do you, you can use do it you now do? okay what? thank you number do nine you renee agatha christie lived in forum lived agatha christie lived agatha christie lived from 1919 to 1976. okay john um, Granny. Granny still hasn't hasn't found her glasses. Okay, thank you. Eleven, Gloria. Where did you buy your laptop? Okay, Guadalupe. How did you be, how did you be finding the kitchen? I like the color. Okay, Renee. Yes. What time did you get home last night? Mm -hmm. Joan? Uh, Engma, Engma, your letter has arrived at last. Okay, good. 15, Gloria? Uh, the weather has been good or good? Okay, Joan. We've been to the cinema twice this month. Oh, se nos fue bien abajo. Yeah. La 16. Yes. Okay. I finished work early yesterday. Okay. 17, Guadalupe. She's not here. She's gone, gone out. out. Gone, gone out. out, gone out. Uh huh. Gloria? The weather wasn't very good last week. And 20, Rene? Uh, we have been to the cinema twice this month. Okay, last one, Joan. Brian lived in England until get age. I'm sorry, teacher. Brian lived in England until the age of 14. Okay, that's great. How many good answers did you get? Um, I, I didn't pass. You didn't pass. Oh, sorry. Teacher, <laughs> teacher, I have a question. Yes. What is the difference uh, in the, for example, in the number? Uh, 
in question, uh, for example, in number three, uh, I, I, I you, we use the simple past. Question in number 11. Where did you buy your glasses? What is the difference? Ya ves, cuál es. Yes. Both, both are question, but in number three, we use a simple past, a, the, the bear. But in the number 11, a, we use a auxiliary did. I, I don't get it. Las dos preguntas están en pasado simple. Uh -huh. Me dice la... la... Pero eh, es que no he logrado comprender como el auxiliar, el did, en qué momento lo puedo usar. Ajá, compañeros, ¿quién le puede ayudar a Gloria? El auxiliar did lo va a ocupar con todos los verbos que no sean to be. Okay. Les explicaba que en pasado simple lo vimos de dos formas, ¿verdad? El pasado simple con el verbo to be es was y were. Como acá, acá está were. Cuando usamos pasado simple con was o con were, no mezclamos el did como auxiliar. Sí, no se mezcla el, 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 el did. Y en en este cambio, caso, con todos los demás verbos, ok, aquí estoy usando el verbo to be. Okay. No mezclo el auxiliar. Y en okay. esta estoy utilizando otro verbo que no es el to be. Cuando no mm -hmm. es verbo to be, entonces uso el auxiliar. Ah, yeah. uh -huh. oh, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. Ok, esa es la diferencia con, con los demás. Es, a ver. Mm, pantalla, pizarra, uh, compartir. Uh, borrar, borrar. Ok, les decía que el pasado simple son dos partes, ¿verdad? La parte del to be que es was y were. Ok, aquí en la oración hay... Um, Solo cero estar, eso es lo, lo que significa el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. You say my, my mother. My mother was a great person. Estoy diciendo que mi mamá era una gran persona. Uh -huh. Si lo hago negativo, ¿cómo se hace el negativo aquí? Wasn't. Was was not. Uh -huh. Was not. Was Solo not. se le agrega el not después uh -huh. del verbo to be. A great person. A great person. My mother was not a great person. Ahora si lo quiero hacer preguntas, sigo trabajando con el mismo. Was my brother? Ok, digamos que el verbo to be no necesita auxiliar. Así. Ah, Verbo yeah. to be no necesita auxiliar. En cambio, si yo quiero decir otra cosa que no sea hacer o estar, siempre que no sea el verbo to be, en oración afirmativa no necesito auxiliar de ninguna manera. Uh, sí, compré un par de 
I bought a pair of shoes. Para hacer la negativa, no puedo decir I bought not, como aquí. I didn't. Necesito el auxiliar. I didn't bought. Ajá, uh -huh. I didn't. Y como ya el auxiliar me indica pasado. Buy. Oh, I didn't buy. Uh -huh. A pair of shoes. Ahora, si lo quiero hacer pregunta, auxiliar primero. Did you? Did I buy? Igual, no, did I buy? Mm -hmm. Did I buy a pair of shoes? Question mark. Uh -huh. Con todos los demás verbos, sí, porque ellos no pueden, no pueden tomar negativas solo ni preguntas solo, por sí solos. Son como, dependen de un auxiliar. En cambio, el verbo to be no depende de un auxiliar. Él se conjuga él solo. Afirmativo, negativo, solo le pongo no. A pregunta, solo le pongo el verbo al principio. No ocupo auxiliar. Pero en cambio aquí, yo no puedo decir I buy not. I buy not. ¿Verdad? A pair of shoes. Necesito el auxiliar. I didn't buy a pair of shoes. I Para didn't. hacerlo pregunta, no puedo decir by I, by I, necesito un auxiliar. Ellos dependen de un auxiliar, todos los demás verbos, excepto el verbo to be. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Son como dos, dos partes del pasado simple que no se combinan. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank okay. you, Ok. More clean. Yes, eh, acuérdense que esta clase es para sacar dudas. Cualquier duda que tengan, hay que hacer la pregunta para resolverla y que se vayan aclarando, ¿verdad? Ok, sí. Ok, I don't know if you have another question. Or we can practice uh, a little bit more the present perfect. Okay, here we have the present perfect with already and yet. Okay. You have a short conversation here. We have to complete with the words that you have there. There is one extra word. It means that you're not going to use them all. How to complete this? Okay. Have you eaten lunch B yet? Okay, we can play yet here. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. No, I. I haven't. No, I haven't. Uh -huh. You want to go to dinner? Mm -hmm. Sure, that sounds great. Okay. I've never been there before. Let's check. Okay, Good. excellent. Now let's practice. Mm -hmm. Have you eaten lunch yet? Have you eaten lunch yet? No, I haven't. Do you want to go to the dinner? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Do you want to go to the dinner? Sure, that sounds great. I've never been there before. Sure, sure that great. sounds great. I've great. never been there before. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, next. Next, okay. Look, ever been to Germany? Has Luke, Has ever, Luke been to Germany? ever been to Germany? Has Luke? Has. Has. No, he's. No, he has. has, has, has he hasn't. Hasn't. He's never been to Europe. It, it, he's never been ever to Europe. I haven't, I been, haven't been, been there for years. I don't know. Yes. Yet either. Okay, good. Now, volunteers, let's listen to Renee and Joanne. Practice the conversation. Renee, you're A, and Joanne, you're B. Okay. Has Luke ever been to Germany? No, he says. Joanne? I didn't hear him. Teacher, I didn't hear. I didn't hear. Okay, Renee, Renee can you repeat? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, <coughs> uh, 
Okay. Has Luke ever been to Germany? No, he hasn't. He's been, he's never been to Europe. I haven't been there yet, Aero. Okay, now change your A, John. Okay. Has Luke ever been to Germany? No, he hasn't. He's never been to Europe. Okay. I haven't, I haven't been there. Yes, either. Either, okay, very good. Let's listen to Guadalupe and Gloria. You can start, Gloria. Okay, has Luke ever been to Germany? No, he hasn't. He's never been to Europe. 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 Okay. I haven't been there yet either. 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 Okay, now change. Okay. Has, has Luke ever been to Germany? No, he hasn't. He's never been to e Europe. 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 Mm -hmm. Europe. I haven't been there yet either. Either. Okay, good job. Now, next. How are they cleaning? How are they? Oh, uh, already the house yet? Cleaning. Cleaning. They... Cleaning. Have um, have they cleaned the house yet? No, they 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 haven't. Haven't. They have they washed the dishes? Yes. Yes. Uh, they they wash the dishes, dishes already. 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 Okay, great. Yes. Now, volunteers to practice? Okay, uh, I start. Okay. Uh, with Guadalupe. Uh, with okay. I, I start with Guadalupe. Uh, have they cleaned the, uh, have they cleaned the house yet? No, they haven't. Awesome. Have they washed the dishes? Yes, they will. washing the dish, dishes are already. Already. Okay. Already. okay, very good. Joan okay. and Gloria. Oh, okay. okay. Start, Gloria. Okay. Have they cleaned the house yet? No, they haven't. Have they washed the dishes? Yes, they've washed the dishes already. Okay, nice. Let's see another exercise. This is an scramble the sentence. You have to put this uh, sentence in order. This is a question. This okay. is a question. Question word have, order. Have you? Have you? Have you? you uh, riding, riding, riding a street car? car. Yeah. Jet. Good. Okay. That's a sentence. Sentence. Okay. Okay. Mike, Annie. Annie, Mike. Haven't seen. Haven't the movie been, yet. Haven't seen the movie yet. It's yet. Great. Oh. Uh, Alice. Alice. Has already eaten. Eaten dinner. Eaten dinner. Very good. Have you have you cleaned your room yet? Have you cleaned your room yet? Very nice. Uh, have you have you, have you, have you been late have for, you been class? Late no. for class, for class this, this week? week? This week. Mm. Have you been late mm. for, for class, class this week? This week. Okay, you're very nice for it. Uh, Tim, Tim, washing the dishes. 
has already washed the dishes. Already washed the dishes. Uh -huh. Yes, Tim has already washed the dishes. Okay, Carrie hasn't called yet. Carrie hasn't called yet. Yeah. Yeah. Take answer, right? Yes. And the last one. Um, okay, he has. Has he, has he been to the gym this gym month? This month. The gym this month. Has he been to the gym this month? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Let's see, we have a set of five sentences. We have um, to put them in the correct order. I haven't been to France yet. I have visited many interesting countries in Europe. I want to travel there next year. Last summer, I went to Italy. I love the food and the friendly people. Put the sentence in order in present perfect versus simple past. Put the sentence in the corner. Okay. Mm -hmm. What could be the correct order here? I want to travel the next gym. No. Last mm. summer I went to Italy. I was Um, I visited many I eastern know. countries in Europe. I love the food. I, I haven't been to interesting is the French. French. I know. I love the food and the people and the friendly people. Shut the answer, this. Check. Yes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the second is num is number. Uh -huh. We have to change. I have visited many interesting countries in Europe. Ah, okay. Last summer, I went to Italy. I love the food and the friendly people. I Start have again. been to France. Start again. Uh -huh. uh, you yeah, no se acuerdan cómo <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been to France yet. ¿Cuál era el orden? It's correct. Other teacher. It's correct. Are you yes. sure? No. <laughs> okay, I visited this. Uh, I want okay. to. Try. I uh, move the second at the end. The second. No, the second. Yes. I, and the second is, I visited many interesting countries in Europe. Mm -hmm. This is... Uh, I, haven't, I haven't been to France yet. I haven't been to France yet. And the third one. Yes? And yeah. Check the answer. No, I have visited many interesting countries in Europe. Uh, is the number... Wow. Teacher, you can uh, yeah. let the teacher move all the answers. Mm, no, no. 
¿La mueva o no? Yes, move, teacher, move, move, move. La summer. Last summer I went to Italy. I haven't been to you. Check the answer. In the summer I went to Italy the first. For me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Remember the first two. Remember the first yeah, two. Yes, yes. I visited yeah, last summer. <laughs> last summer I went to Italy. Okay, okay. I have okay, visited first, I visited many students kinder open for well, number one. I the first. Yes. Okay. Last summer I went to Italy. Yes. Uh, I was I love the traveling. I went I haven't been I haven't been okay. It's the, the four. Yes. It's the correct. Been. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have visited many interesting countries in Europe. Last summer I went to Italy. I love the food and Clap the our hands. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. That's correct. It's a little difficult. Yeah. <laughs> Listening. What are the signs? I never lost my keys. Okay. The next one, Gloria. Okay. I have you ever ride ride a motorcycle? Riding. Yes. Riding. Rene? Rene, are you there? Excuse me. Uh, I uh, drive in my truck to work for three years. Mm -hmm. Okay, Guadalupe. Have you ever. Don es hacer hecho. Hike is Escalado, escalado. Escalado. Ok, Gloria. Ok. I have never seen the. Statue. 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 Have you ever been, no, have you ever tried to Chile? Been. No. What is the answer, John? Sorry? Tried. Tried to Chile. No. Been. In is ver estar, ser o estar. Okay. Ha estado. Uh -huh. estado. Okay. estado. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been? Yes. Okay, that was a practice of simple past and present <laughs> perfect. Um, it's basically that's all for today. I don't know if you have any questions. Have you finished the platform? Mm. <laughs> yes. Uh, John, finish. Did you do the yeah. exam? Yeah, yeah. The certificate? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet, but I, I, I saw my progress. I am um, um, up 90. Okay, that's great. What about you, Gloria? Have you finished? Uh, I had uh, one problem with a uh, one final evaluation mm, what is the, the problem final, the final evaluation are five different uh, quiz but in number four uh, all was bad teacher is about is about the ordenar las palabras para hacer una oración o una pregunta 
interrogante mm, eh, sale mal. Gloria. ¿Sí? In the one of them, uh, there are a bad uh, words. Right, okay. And the order. Uh, in one of them, uh, it's a bad uh, writing word. La, Así me lo usted. A una palabra mal escrita. Yes. Ah. Y usted la escribió bien en la respuesta de si era. Eh. Yes, I do. Okay, es el mismo ejercicio del que habla Gloria. Yes, it's the same teacher. The ah, final okay. exam in the unit five, John. Yes, yes, Gloria. Okay. Ah, okay. Great. Check the answer Let me then. Check. Mm -hmm. I will send you, Gloria, okay? okay? Okay. Let's wait for that. I will send you the la, la página también le voy a mandar la que hicimos, la del simple passive present perfect. Okay? Yes. Okay, that's it for today. Vamos a esperar qué dicen, qué noticias nos tienen. And see you around. Okay. 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 Thank, Thank you, teacher, nice for, all, for all your times. And... No, thanks to you for joining the session. And Christmas. For your persistence. <laughs> Congratulations yeah. for your persistence, you, for your responsibility. Uh, you deserve the best. I wish you the best for all your life, not only for Christmas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, teacher, thank you so much. Okay, take care. See you. Okay, we love you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.